Terry Eagleton's How to Read Literature is a thought-provoking exploration of the art of reading and interpreting literary works. In this book, Eagleton offers readers a guide to delving into literature with a critical and analytical eye. Throughout the text, he argues that literature is not just a passive form of entertainment but a rich and complex field that can reveal profound insights about human nature, society, and culture. Eagleton's central premise revolves around the idea that literature is not an isolated entity but is deeply intertwined with the historical, social, and cultural contexts in which it is produced. He emphasizes the importance of considering the broader context when interpreting a text, as this can shed light on the author's intentions and the underlying themes. Eagleton asserts that reading literature is an act of dialogue between the reader and the text, with each influencing the other. This dialogic approach highlights the dynamic nature of literature and its ability to resonate with readers across different time periods and cultures. One of Eagleton's key arguments is that literature is inherently ambiguous and open to multiple interpretations. He challenges the notion that there is a single, correct, way to read a text and instead encourages readers to embrace the diversity of perspectives that literature can offer. Eagleton argues that ambiguity is not a flaw but a feature of literature, as it allows for ongoing engagement and discussion. This emphasis on the interpretive flexibility of literature aligns with post-structuralist and reader response theories, which posit that meaning is not fixed but is constructed by the reader in interaction with the text. Eagleton also addresses the role of ideology in literature. He argues that all texts are embedded with ideological elements, reflecting the values and beliefs of the society in which they are produced. This perspective invites readers to critically analyze the underlying ideologies in literary works, including issues of power, class, gender, and race. By examining these ideological dimensions, readers can gain a deeper understanding of the social and political forces at play in a given text. Furthermore, Eagleton highlights the importance of literary form and style. He contends that the choice of narrative techniques, language, and literary devices can significantly impact the reader's experience and interpretation. For example, a first-person narrative may offer a more intimate and subjective view of a character's inner thoughts and emotions, while third-person omniscient narration can provide a broader perspective on the story's events and characters. Eagleton's discussion of form underscores the idea that the way a story is told is just as crucial as the content itself. Throughout the book, Eagleton engages with various literary examples, from classic novels to contemporary works, to illustrate his points. These examples help readers see how his theories can be applied to real-world texts. By dissecting well-known literary works, Eagleton demonstrates the richness and complexity of literature and provides readers with practical tools for analyzing and appreciating literary artistry. Eagleton's writing is accessible and engaging, making complex literary theories and concepts understandable to a broad audience. He avoids excessive jargon and strives to communicate his ideas in a clear and relatable manner. This accessibility is one of the strengths of How to Read Literature, as it invites both seasoned literary scholars and casual readers to embark on a journey of deeper literary exploration. In conclusion, Terry Eagleton's How to Read Literature is a valuable resource for anyone interested in developing their skills as a critical reader. Eagleton's emphasis on the dynamic relationship between reader and text the significance of context, the role of ideology, and the importance of literary form provides readers with a comprehensive framework for approaching literature with greater depth and nuance. By embracing ambiguity and multiple interpretations, Eagleton invites readers to engage with literature as a living, evolving art form that continues to shape our understanding of the world.
This book serves as a reminder that literature is not merely a passive pastime but a vibrant discourse that invites us to explore the complexities of human existence and the societies in which we live.